You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's evening prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O living breath from heaven, we thank you for watching over us through the day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, without you would not have made it. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we sleep tonight. Bless us with the covering of your Holy Spirit, our Sacred Heart, our Lord. Adorable and precious heart, grant that your grace may come and quiet our hearts. We seek comfort and refuge inside your gentle heart, O sacred heart of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we had not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you give us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often close our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. O sacred heart, what could we bring to you in order to give you thanks? For as the day progressed, you provided for us beyond measure. Your generous heart gave to us without condition, even though you have every right to demand from us. Holy, holy, holy Lord, we offer you our hearts and pray that you place them in your sacred heart. Allow us to dwell in your sacred heart so that we may be transformed in such a way that tomorrow we will awaken with a burning desire to love you and serve you day and night. O blessed sacrament, the tabernacle of our heart desperately needs you. Without you it is cold and empty, but with you it comes to life. Here we are, Lord, we prostrate ourselves before your throne, knowing that your mercy will cover us with unending blessings because of your unending grace. Let us be a blessing to those around us. Amen. <clears throat> we now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world. In particular, we pray for our brothers and sisters in North Korea and in China, where this, the governments of those two countries aggressively persecute Christians, aggressively put our Christian brothers and sisters in prison on the false pretenses to cause them pain, to cause them suffering, to set the example to others that if they are caught worshiping Jesus, if they are caught sharing the gospel, that they too will pay the same price. And we pray, Lord, that you send your Holy Spirit to our brothers and sisters that your Holy Spirit will comfort them and protect them. That your Holy Spirit will fill their hearts with joy and hope, with contentment, with courage, faith. But more importantly, with a great love, a love so great that they will be able to love even those who persecute them. And we pray for those who persecute them, especially those in the government, the leaders of the country, the ones who want to be the ones in control, the ones who refuse to allow Christianity to take hold in their country and touch their hearts. 
open up their hearts. Allow them to see you, Lord. That in seeing you, that they may, they may become your followers. We pray for a great revival for the country of North Korea and the country of China. That the hearts of many may be touched, especially on the higher post of government. And that Christianity will spread in high numbers throughout the entire countries. And Lord, we pray for all bishops, especially Archbishop Ross and Bishop Hampton. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Lord, we pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who suffer because of cancer, because of lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for also for John, who needs a full-time job with uh, good, honest people. He is miserable in the environment where he's working right now. His bosses treat him really bad and really unfairly. They make everything hard on me, on him. And he needs a fresh start with new people. He has become miserable for John. To the point that he dreads going to work each day. It is affecting his health. His hours and his wages were cut also. So we pray Lord that you open the door for John to find a new job. With good pay and good benefits. And that you will help him Lord to deal with the depression that he's suffering from and that you set him free to serve you and worship you. We pray for Ligi. We pray for her. We pray for her brother and her mother and her entire family that the Holy Spirit be upon them that all evil, suffering and pain may be cast out of their life so that they can enjoy the blessing that you have given to them. We also pray for. A friend of Mary King. Mr. O O'Leary. Sacred Heart. We pray that he recover from his heart surgery. And we pray that the bleeding. That. His suffering from. May stop so that he can fully recover. We pray for grieving families. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy. The gift of distinguishing between spirits. The gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues. The gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love all according to your will and for the glory 
of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts. As ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory, to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's evening prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. And I hope that you'll be able to join us throughout the week as we do these prayers. God willing and technology, if technology allows us uh, on a daily basis. To find out, find out more about our ministry here on Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, visit us at sacredheartjesus.org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. I hope you have a wonderful day or rest of the day. And I will see you tomorrow.